everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the channel, I'm going to be talking about the new movie just came out a few days ago, Deadpool 2, starring Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin. And uh, man, I got to say, this movie was crazy. This is a really funny, uh, wild ride of a movie. And I got to say, uh, Reynolds himself is, I mean, I, I mentioned this talking about the first Deadpool uh, a few years ago. But this movie was nuts. I mean, this movie was completely nuts. But Reynolds is perfect as the part of, uh, of Deadpool. He is absolutely outstanding. Uh, Wade Wilson is pretty much the part he was born to play. And I loved him in this. Uh, he really, really delivers some really crazy lines that only he could deliver. And the whole tone of the movie is really wacky, which I'll talk more about later. Um... The movie does surprisingly have some, uh, some pretty, actually, some kind of intense moments, ironically enough. But overall, I thought the, uh, the movie was very, very fun. And, uh, you know, Brolin himself as Cable in this, the time-traveling uh, soldier slash assassin in this. Uh, Brolin is having a hell of a year this year. He was Thanos in Infinity War. I viewed that a while back. And now we got him as Cable in this, and I gotta say, he does a great job in this movie. I, I enjoyed him a little more as Thanos, I'm gonna be honest, I thought he made a better Thanos, but his Cable in this is fantastic, and you can really see that he really enjoyed playing the part. Even though it's really just him running around, uh, you know, and shooting a lot of people, that's, that's really the part, but he really does a great job in it. And you can tell that he really wanted to do this part, and he really gave it his all, which is great. Um, the plot of the movie is kind of loose. Uh, again, I'm not going to spoil anything in this movie, so I'm going to give you kind of the, the, you know, the bare essentials. Uh, Deadpool is uh, kind of tasked with uh, protecting this mutant boy whose cable, who Cable is also after. And Cable is after him for reasons that I'm not going to give away here. But he has his reasons, and Deadpool is, uh, I don't want to say he's, he has to protect this kid, but in order to kind of help himself, he has to protect the child. So it's pretty much the, the loosest storyline I can give you. Overall, the plot is kind of loose. I mean, it's not the greatest plot in the world. The first Deadpool movie didn't have the greatest plot in the world either. Um, but I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the, the fact that Deadpool has to kind of come together with other people in order to protect this kid since Cable is such a, uh, a worthy opponent. I think that was really great. Um, it, I mean, the movie keeps you interested. Like I said, the plot is not that great. Uh, that's basically all I can tell you without spoiling anything. But the plot keeps you watching it. I thought it was, it was an interesting movie. Um, the one complaint I have about the movie is that they really do want you to emotionally invest in certain things that happen in the movie, and I kind of couldn't do it, honestly. It didn't grab me quite right, maybe because the first movie was so wacky and didn't take anything seriously. And this one here, there are a few moments they actually want you to take seriously, and I kind of had a hard time doing it because the movie is so insane. Um, overall, though, I thought, you know, the, the main plot was, was pretty good. It kept me interested. Um, some moments in this movie, I do have to admit, really caught me off guard. And there are some really, truly hilarious scenes. Uh, there are some moments that I was gasping for air. I was dying. Uh, they, they had me laughing so hard. There are a lot of one-liners by Reynolds, and not all of them hit, I have to admit. Um, compared to the first movie, I thought a lot of jokes in this one fell flat. And I mean, like, 60 of them succeed. 60% I say succeed, but like 40% do not. And I thought it was a higher failure rate than the first movie. But I, I enjoyed it still. I thought it was very funny. Um, there was some really, really well done action scenes in this as well. The director in this also did Atomic Blonde and was kind of an uncredited director of action scenes from the first John Wick movie. He's been doing that kind of thing for a long time. He's been in the action kind of field for a long time, doing a lot of acting and stunt work and stuff. And honestly, he does a really good job. His name is David Leach, and he did, he did a very, very good job. Um, action in the movie all around was pretty well shot, I have to admit. I really like the fact that Leach does not go for the all-the-time shaky cam thing. 
Uh, I really have had enough with that crap, and finally I think that's died out, which is good. Even though Avengers uh, Infinity War did have some of that, it wasn't as bad as some of the older films uh, that we've had, some films that were in the past, I should say. Um, I thought the chase scene, there's a chase scene about midway through the movie that I thought was absolutely outstanding. I thought that was the highlight of the film, and uh, the... The stuff leading up to that chase scene, I thought, was probably the craziest shit I've seen in a long time, and I did not expect it at all. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, and I really, really, really like that. I thought that was really well done. Um, I think, honestly, though, the one part of the movie that I do have to talk about is Domino. Uh, Zazie, I think her name is Zazie Beats. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Uh, her performance as Domino is the reason to see this movie, honestly. She is an outstanding actress, and I am blown away I have not seen her in anything before this. And if I have seen her, I apologize for not remembering, because she is iconic. I'll go, I'll go as far as to say she is iconic as Domino, I grew up with the X-Men animated series, and, uh, you know, I, I've read comic books in the past, and I always got a kick out of the character. I thought the character and her, her luck superpower was very, very fascinating to me. And I have to admit, I was worried about the way they were going to portray her in this movie, and I have to say, it was outstanding. Great. I kind of want a Domino movie. I mean, I know we're going to get X-Force, I know we're going to get that movie at some point, but, like, I, I think that's the next one, actually, is going to be X-Force. But I want just a Domino movie. I could watch her all day long. Her performance in this was, was perfect. Uh, there was nothing about her performance that I thought was lacking. She played that character to a T, and my hat goes off to her. She was outstanding in this, and I really hope we see more of her in the future. We need to see more of her in the future. She was so good. Uh, the music in this as well was absolutely hilarious. The, <laughs> the score uh, is really, really interesting in this. And they do another good job, just like the first one. They do a very good job of incorporating music into the movie. And when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, overall, I didn't think Deadpool 2 was as fresh or as good as the first Deadpool. I did enjoy it. I thought it was a very entertaining action movie, an extremely funny, funny comedy as well. Um, but I got to admit, there were parts of it that were lacking, especially in the uh, the humor department, I thought had some really, really wild, it was kind of wildly all over the place. And the fact that there are certain parts in the movie that they want you to take seriously, even though the tone of the first one and the overall tone of this one is completely wacky, kind of caught me off guard, and I wasn't, uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't think that worked. But overall, I thought Deadpool 2 was a good movie. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. It's definitely worth a watch, especially if you enjoyed the first one. You'll like this one. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but I honestly thought it was a great watch, and my God, I was dying laughing through most of it. Uh, anyway, I'm Andrew Kavanaugh. Thank you for coming back to Kavanaugh's Corner, and we'll see you on the next one.